Alright, welcome to 10 good narrators that you should probably check out. A couple of things I really want to get out of the way. Number one, this isn't a top 10 list. I'm not putting these narrators in any specific order. Second, they're not going to be big. You know, people that are too big, you know, they're going to be some of the smaller people that I've stumbled across and or know personally that I enjoy. Third thing is, just because I know them personally does not mean I have a bias towards them. I, I have people that I don't know, never talk to, and I have people that I barely talk to, and then I have people that I talk to on a regular basis. It's, it's just how it is. You know, it's, so for all you people trying to find new voices, or all those narrators that are just wondering if they made this list, let's just get it going. Okay, starting off, um, first narrator would probably be Avenging Nightmares. When I listened to him, as far as quality and music choice, I felt like he was on par with me. And if you're on par with me, I, I, it's gotta be something. So that's why I put him on this list. There's not really much else to say about him, I mean, he's, he's just about as good as me, so if you like me, you're gonna like him. And that's about it. Coming next is Barnabas Deimos. I think that's how you say it. Signature voice. I, I could pick out his voice from a crowd, like, I don't know, he's just got this deep, you know, monotone, very, you know, flows well with some stories, and yeah, it's just very, it's a very proprietary voice. It, it's, it's, it's beautiful. Next on the list is Creep's work. I have him to thank for getting me in the community. I have him to thank for nothing else, but the way he branches out besides narrating, he does, you know, he does the, the fucking comedy videos making fun of creepypastas, which Strange enough, me and him started doing it like almost the exact same time without the knowledge of each other doing it. And yeah, yeah, that's about it. it. His narrating is okay, but where he really stands out is his comedy side of things. Coming in next is Bookworm, or I call him Bookworm, you know, full name's the creepy Bookworm. He has another one of those signature voices. And literally, he. I, I, no offense to anyone else, but he is the most talented narrator I know. Like, Hands down. His flow's good. His quality's good. He just has a distinct advantage because of his voice. Coming in next is Oral Stimulation, or Jeff Clement, I guess. He's done work on many channels, he's a good narrator, he, he's like creeps work, you know, with the branching out thing, except he doesn't go on the comedy route. And that's all I gotta say about him, I mean, he's good, quality's good, music choice is always on, you know, amazing, his flow is always amazing. He's just a very safe narrator to listen to, you'll never be disappointed. Alright, coming in next is Lady Narration. She is probably one of my favorite girl narrators. She she always has the same vocal style when she narrates stories, which in some cases it can it can turn off the story a little bit, but most cases it keeps the vibe going. You know, I feel like she picks stories that goes around her vocal style when narrating, and it's it's, it's amazing. Like I listen to it, and her voice makes it easy to get lost in the story. And all these narrators have good quality, so I mean, I feel like I'm repeating myself when I say that. Next on the list is King Spook. I've known King Spook personally. I was in his like huge Halloween special that's like over an hour long. It was kind of like that Midnight Society thing. I thought that was great. Um, besides that, you know, we're just buddies that talk occasionally. But his narrating is just no laughing matter. Top notch. His his voice acting just blows me away. It, may, it always makes me feel bad when I listen to his stories because I cut corners when I narrate and stuff, you know. It, if I feel like I did it a little wrong, I'd be like, ah, that's fine, I'll keep it. His are just on point. I mean, I don't know if he redoes it, but everything is just always on point. There is no mess ups. Coming in next is horror stories. I've been following this guy for like, I, I think months now. He's literally the up-and-coming, I believe. He he deserves my the little publicity that I have. He's better than me in a lot of ways. Except, you know, I think I beat him in quality a little bit. But his content makes up so much for it. If this if this person just invests in upgrading equipment, learns how to edit a little better, I, next MCP. I'm I'm literally not even kidding you. I see it. I don't know why. I just see it in this person. Next coming up on the list is my good old buddy Creepypasta Reads. When I talk to him, he's always talking about how he's just doing new things and, you know, putting sounds together, and I don't know, it, he's lazy at times, but when he works, he works, and he does a superb job at it, and his quality's good, I've worked with him numerous times, he's had me redo lines numerous times before, because it wasn't up to his standards, which, you know, in a lot of ways, he does have better voice acting than me, so, I mean, I, I guess I gotta live up to it. 
But coming in at number one, or this is not top ten, sorry. Coming in at the last spot, you know, is everyone's equal here. But I feel the synergy. But uh, last one is Shadow Mistress. Now, she, I've never really listened to her stuff, like I've known her, but I never really listened to her stuff until I was just looking up people for the next top ten list. And wow, I mean, uh, good. She, good girl narrators are hard to come by. I don't know if you noticed this. Seriously, if you got a mic and you're a girl and you want to narrate, please do it, because we are on a shortage here, okay? But that's besides the point. She's good quality, on key. The two narrators in this list are probably some of the only two that I actually listen to on a somewhat regular basis now. Just because, uh, I don't know, there, there's not many good girl narrators out there, I can't explain it. But that was 10 good narrators that you guys should probably check out and they'll be in the description and if you're a narrator and you didn't make the list and you feel like you should I mean, just post a comment or something I mean, it won't hurt it won't hurt anybody if you just say hey I deserve to be on this list and, and people might check you out I mean remember this would be a big pool of just shameless plugs that would be good I want to make that happen just shameless plug comment section yeah <laughs>